and it is now day six of the port embargo as the city prepares to completely run out of many imported necessities, among them building materials, medical supplies, and coffee. <gasps> no! Oh no! I know! We were on our break, our daily coffee break, when we learned the awful news. Could this be? More heartbreaking. I just threw up on my shoes. And baby, it's so upsetting. I'm not getting this. Why are they letting this happen to the beverage that we need? I need a giant hug. I need a giant mug from that coffee making sweet. I think he's Dutch. I need a cup of joe, yo, oh, so much. I can feel my tummy, feel my tummy bleed. Coffee is our friend, our love is never ending. Love that aromatic brew. Coffee is our friend, and the coffee house is central to the perky things we do. We're so quirky! That's so true. Maybe we've become too coffee obsessed. You think? Yes! Yes! Oh, yes! <laughs> Buddy, if you only knew. I like my coffee like I like my men. Hot and in my lap when I'm driving. No, warm and rich, silly. And sweet. Will we ever get our lattes again? It's delightfully bitter, yeah. If you drink too much, you'll wind up on the one with, with the babysitter. Oh, I love that one. Coffee is our friend, coffee is our friend. Coffee is our warm and toasty, medium roasty. Father, son, and holy ghosty friend. That caffeinated java is our one and only friend. Oh, well, thank you, sir. Yeah. Hey, um, you ever think about getting a Vanna White for trivia night? <laughs> Do I look like Pass AJ? It's only one night a week. But everyone loves trivia night. You love trivia night. Well, think about it this way. If you get yourself an MC, then everyone clearly knows that you're the host. I'm the only one in this bar with a microphone and a laptop. Pretty sure people know I'm the host. <laughs> we gonna see the nerd herd tonight? No, Wilson changed our D&D &D game to tonight because of Thanksgiving. Well, it'll be good for somebody else to win, finally. Yeah, Mary Jo's been gloating all week. <laughs> I bet she has. Good luck tonight at D&D, &D, and I will see you at Thanksgiving. Think about that Vanna White for trivia then. Okay. Cut those a little smaller. Smaller? Jack doesn't like the texture when they're too big. Uh, got it. Uh, is Jack uh, seeing anybody? You know, I think he's allergic to them. Every time I mention a girl, <laughs> his face squinches up. Oh, he's a late bloomer. What about Becca? Her last girlfriend was an actress, and she couldn't handle it when Becca got the lead, so they broke up. Mm, that's too bad. I don't know. I didn't like her very much. Mm. When we went up to visit, she hardly showed up. Well, our families are loud and loving. Maybe she didn't know what to do with that. Maybe. But Becca's coming home for Christmas, full <laughs> month. She hasn't been back in three years. I cannot wait to see her. You know, we never did get up to see her show. She loves New York. <laughs> she loves life on that stage. You know, she just threw herself into her work. That is so lovely. 
Her last show is Thanksgiving. I can't believe that Broadway doesn't close on Thanksgiving. Is Sam seeing anybody? Uh, not really. Kind of on again, off again with Judy. Farm sales rep Judy? <laughs> I don't think it's anything serious. I just kind of think it's more of a convenience. Like a booty call? <gasps> Tilly. <laughs> she and Sam were so happy together. Nothing like high school love. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? On the count of three, let's say it together. One, two, three. They were so good together. <laughs> no, 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 wait. Nobody likes meddling moms. Are you kidding? Everyone likes meddling moms. Huh. Then we only have one month to convince them that they are perfect for each other. Then let's get to meddling. <laughs> All right, so here is how we're going to do it. All right, folks, let's give it up for Mary and the Joes. Yes! yes. yes. This week's winners. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank you for coming out for Trivia Night. I will see you next week, and I hope all you folks have a happy and safe Thanksgiving. Good night, y'all. Another good trivia night. Yeah. Mary Jo's team was thrilled that Jax wasn't here this week. Oh my god, they are so cute. Should we give them some help? High school sweethearts. High school sweethearts are very overrated. Um, excuse me, Love Kill. I remember you having a very lovely high school romance. Well, yeah, I mean, and so you go off to college and you know, like two roads diverge in a wood. Your mom's her best friends, and Jack is her brother. You will always be in her life in some way. Well, yeah, I mean, as friends. I'm happy for her. You know, she's doing what she's meant to. And what I'm supposed to do is play Cupid up in this mug. I'm gonna hook them up. <laughs> Figure it out. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Mom. Mm -hmm. What? Oh, come don't on. even, it's a wrap. You all were barely even watching. It is time for some music. Oh, Dick Thumbs with us. Man, Thanksgiving isn't even over. They're already playing Christmas music. Why are you surprised? Christmas decorations have been on sale since Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> it's a universal truth. Thanksgiving is the official start of the holiday season. Yeah, but I just like every holiday to get its due, you know, like. Our families spend Thanksgiving together every year, you know, and that's just really special to me. Well, I know Lucille and I are so looking forward to Christmas because we finally have all family home. We do? Becca's coming home for Christmas. <laughs> we will have our children home. Isn't it wonderful? Oh, uh, what? <laughs> it's, uh, it's, she's just coming in for the day, right? She's here this weekend. And she, she's staying through Christmas? <laughs> A whole month with our Becca. <gasps> How lucky are we? So lucky. So well, lucky. <laughs> Aren't you so excited too, Sam? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm so excited. I, I just, it's just such a shame because I am going to be so busy with the Christmas show. You know, Miss Wilkinson is going to have me building sets, designing the set, you know, and painting the set. Time to retire the old tape measure. Exactly. Mm. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait for you two to see one another again. I know how special you are to Becca. <clears throat> and we, we know how much Becca means to you. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I just, I love being home. And, and I just know Becca probably loves being home too. And I really cannot wait to introduce her to Judy. So, Judy. Yes, Judy. Are y'all still together? Yeah. Yeah, we're like... Better than ever. Y'all, yeah, better than ever. I see Judy all the time. Oh, that must be Ava and Sandy. They'll be excited about the news too. So, 
today is the last show for our Monica Becca Winters. <laughs> Becca, Becca, we're going to miss you so much, but we were wondering if you would be willing to sing one more song for us. Of course. Thank you. I would like to thank this amazing cast and everyone who came out to support us. I'd like to usher in this holiday season with a song from my upcoming Christmas album, Merry and Gay. so sad to see you packing up all your things. I know. I'm gonna miss everyone. Um, why didn't you renew your contract? And also, I just heard about Adriana. I am so sorry. Yeah, <laughs> it's hard to date actresses. She was upset when she wasn't cast. Oh, wow, that's rough. Yeah. I think I need a reset. I haven't had a break in three years, and I really miss home. Well, going home will be good, but we're gonna miss you so much. And you'll always be my favorite, Monica. Yeah, you're gonna say that to all the Monicas. Hmm, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have something else lined up? Um, I have a few options, but I don't wanna sign on to anything too soon, you know? Mm-hmm. Okay, when you get back, let's get a drink. I'd love to. Ugh. Come on, let's get out of here. Okay. I came right over. Oh, good. I'm so happy you're here. Of course I'm here. Your text said you needed me to come over right away. We were just about to have tea. Come on in. And uh, yeah, Becca's here. Why don't you just sit down and I'll fix you a cup of tea. <laughs> Here you go. You better be whiskey in this. Becca was just telling me how exciting it is to be on Broadway. Oh, that's really it, Lucille. It's all very exciting and fun. I'm sure you can imagine. You're here for a while. Yes, it's been too long. I'm just really excited to spend the holiday with everyone. My mom, brother, you. 
And we're so happy that you're here. Honey, I loved visiting you in the city, but having you come home for Christmas again, that is truly so special. Yeah, three Christmases later. Can't believe it's been three years. Mom, can I talk to you for a minute? I'll be right back. Well, you bamboozled me. Shh. Oh, please. And I thought Tilly's child was the dramatic one. You brought me here under false pretenses, and now I have to sit in that room and have tea with Becca and Tilly Winters. You both always loved having tea with us. When we were 12, Mom. I have work to do, I'm leaving. Oh, you most certainly are not. Honestly, Sam, she hasn't been home for three years and this is how you behave? Avoiding her? You are going to go back in there, sit your butt back down with our company and be pleasant. <laughs> Is everything okay? Yeah. Um, I just had some work to get done, but it can wait. Oh. Good. Well, Becca has some news to share. Yeah, I stopped by the theater earlier today to see if they needed any help with the show. Wilkie couldn't believe I was there. She actually asked me to direct the show this year. So my daughter's not only a star, but she's a director now too. Oh, that's wonderful. And Sam is about to take over for Bob as stage manager. Isn't that wonderful, Sam? No. Sam? Way. No way. <laughs> you are a natural choice for the job. You think so? I think what would go perfectly with this tea is uh, shortbread. Oh, I think I have some in the pantry. Do you have any with pecans? They're my favorite. Oh, I think I do have some out there in the garage pantry. I'll help I'll you look. Go on out here and get some stuff. I think Wilkie was happy to pass the show off this year. Well, she has done quite a few of them. She did say it's her 46th show. There's only so many times you can hear the glad tones sing, hark the herald angels sing. <laughs> anyway, I'm just happy to be involved and we get to work together. Her green always does put on a great Christmas show. It is where you got your start on the stage. It was. I'm just really happy to see you. Spend some time with you. You're really important to me. I can't believe I don't have pecan sandies. I swear I bought some last week. <laughs> well, Becca. It was great to bump into you. I will try and find some time to see you more while you're here. Maybe it opened my night. Well, that might be nice. How many? Six! Two! <laughs> Oh, Mikey, what is all this? I'm not gonna let this get in the way of me and my dreams, Sam. Okay? You uh, you broke your wrist juggling bowling balls, and now you're gonna destroy your fingers. <laughs> Sam, 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 Sam! If I get six traps in 15 seconds, woo, that's a whole world record, baby! She's going for a juggling world record. I believe in you. Thank you, Bob. Remember, practice makes perfect. Open mic. Mm -hmm. That's where I'm going to seal the deal. Mm -hmm. Ava. Yeah. Let him know. Okay, I got you, sis. Mouse trap juggler with a broken wrist. Hmm. <laughs> open mic. Be there. Why don't you take <laughs> this? 
You know what? I might need that. You are correct. Yeah, see you later, Mikey. You know, most people see Mikey as a town eccentric, but Mikey you knows how to dream big. Sure does. So, Pops, um, I think I'm gonna need you to take back over the Christmas show. We're so excited to take the lead. Yeah, well, I mean, things are different now. Becca's directing. Huh. Good for Becca. Huh? I don't understand. Well, I mean, we can't, like, have a set piece falling on the Leland twins. It's volunteer job, Sam. You can handle it, all right? You shadowed me since you were this big. Yeah, but that was for Miss Wilkinson. This is Becca. You know, she could want something fancy, like a flying set piece or something, that Broadway stuff. I can't do that. You got this, all right? Just make sure to have one of these on you at all times and you'll be fine. Yes, sir. No tape measure is going to help you with your real problem. Oh, yeah? What's my real problem? You can't be around Becca because it's too hard for you. You still love her. D don't be ridiculous. She's just my childhood best friend. Um, she's your first love. And she's the love of your life. And you can pretend that you don't care, but she's back. And you do. Don't be ridiculous. She's my childhood best friend. Friend. Stop judging me. Oh, that's all right, Pops. I got it. You can head out. All right, kiddo. All right, take Get care. Home safe. We'll do. Blue. Hi. <laughs> oh, hey, Judy. Hey, babe. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> you make it look easy. It I think you should go for, go for. <laughs> Sam, you clearly still have feelings for Becca. Nah, that was a long time ago. The way you look when you talk about her, that's not a little high school crush. You're in love. I'm not. <laughs> you are. I hope our thing isn't stopping you. Oh, no. It's not, um, you know, Becca and I are just on different paths. It's just a timing thing. I'd find a way to get on the same path. Maybe. Cheers. To being on the same path. <laughs> Of course, we use the same set for each act. Um, the acts all stay backstage in the wings, except for the nativity scene, and we roll that out at the end. Got it. You're being very nice to pretend to write things down, Becca. I just want to make sure I get it right. Well, this is your show now. Well, just for this year. But really, I feel like I'm just helping you. Well, if you can take rehearsals, that's the most important part. The show really runs itself. Bob does make a new set every year. I thought Sam was in charge this year. Oh, that's right. How fitting for you and Sam to be working on the show this year. Reminds me of you guys working on the shows in high school. Sam insisted on you being able to fly in Peter Pan. That's right. The system Sam got was from the regional tour that came through Nashville. Determination that one has. Anyway, we close the curtains between acts, which gives us all a chance to regroup and to take a little nip of eggnog. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Sam! Think of the devil. Hey, y'all. Uh, Wonderful! Come, come. I'm just dropping off some equipment, you know. Can't really stay, but uh, maybe I could come by later. Nonsense. This will take half a minute. Now, I'm not going to micromanage you, but as you know, this is a variety show. 
doesn't really matter the order of performances, but I strongly suggest that the final scene be the nativity scene. I know, I know, people are gonna say it's old fashioned, but to me, it's about community and family coming together. And that's what Evergreen is all about. I couldn't have said it better myself. Agreed. I will take care of the nativity first thing, and I will let you know the second it's done. Oh, don't tell me, dear. Uh, everything you do now is for Becca. It's gonna be a wonderful show. Look at you two. You were both so happy. They're avoiding me. Everyone's made time to see me except for Sam. Do you know why? I wish they'd tell me. Honey, Sam invited you to open mic night. You should go. I don't think that was a real invite, Mom. Mike oh, don't tell me Mike is juggling tonight with a broken wrist. Yes, she moved to mouse traps. This I gotta see. Welcome to Sheridan Open Mic. We are so excited to have you. We have some awesome guests coming up tonight, and we're gonna get the party started. I'm not gonna talk too much. So coming up first to the mic, let's give it up for Michael. <laughs> Seventeen Year Old and the Gay Bar by Dana Smith. <clears throat> this gin heavy heaven, blessed ground to think gay. I mean, we. Hi, Sam. What can I get you? Vodka tonic, please. My usual. Your usual. His usual is a Shirley Temple. Oh my God, hi. Hey, how are you? Good to see you, good. You too. Oh, I was gonna ask, can you sing your new song? Uh, <laughs> you want to sing with me? Really? If you know the song, you sign, I'll sing. Yeah. Okay. Yes, please. Oh my gosh, you guys are gonna kill it. I'm so excited. Okay, <laughs> uh, here we go. Let's do it. 
We are very, very proud to introduce this next guest, our very own evergreen celebrity, here to perform her new holiday single, Mary and Gay. Give it up for Becca and our very own Sandy! Amazing, and I'll be there for you. You came to see it? Of course, I've seen all your shows. That's really sweet. Brandon, your poems are really lovely. Oh, thank you. It yeah. is so good to have you home. It's good to be home. You should do a poem for the Christmas pageant. Really? Yeah, I'm directing it this year and cutting one of the glad tone songs. Scandalous. Okay, great. I need a shot to celebrate. <laughs> You know, once upon a time, I actually got three in 15 seconds. But tonight just wasn't my night. Well, we're all behind you. You know, I feel y'all spirit up there with me. Night, Sam! Good night. <laughs> Thank you for teaching me too, by the way. <laughs> That was so hey. great. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for doing it. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Thanks for having us. Yeah, of course. Is the Nerd Herd going to be playing this Wednesday? I think so. Well, we won the last two Wednesdays, so I hope you bring your A game. We will. You and your Joes better be ready. You know, I got in early admission to Chapel Hill. I didn't know that. Yes, it was my first choice. You're not the only smart one in Evergreen, you just think you are. But I also got early admission at Chapel Hill. I know. We're gonna eat you for lunch next trivia night. Oh really? Is that what you think? Yeah, it you is. You ever learn about imaginary numbers? What do you know about equations? What's the Pythagorean theorem? I know a lot of equations. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> mm. I know, it's been too long. You all are so special to me, my heart. Yes. Bye. What is going on with you and Sam? I don't know. We haven't talked in three years. Three years, not even a phone call? No. I tried, but they never answered. And when I texted, I got a thumbs up emoji or a can I call you later auto response message. So I just stopped. Then I got a random text. I'm dating Judy now, just thought you should know. So they ghosted me. I don't know. I think Sam loves you. Uh. Hey, y'all. Um, they're finally cashing out, and it's past closing, so we should, you know, wrap it up. Oh, fudge. What? Jack left me. Oh, uh, I can close up. Sam, you take Becca home. No. Sam, you? you no, no. Take I Becca got it. Home. I, it's fu- No. You afraid of me? No, I just don't want to have to, you know, close ah. up. I'm good. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, Sam, take Becca home. You guys be safe. Okay. I will take you home. Thanks.
Are you all ready for Christmas? Not much to prepare for these days, just gift cards and cash. Y'all set for Christmas? Mom is dying for an Instapod, and Jack is a bit of a wild card. I'm at a loss. Just a new headset for his Xbox. Keeps buying cheap ones, and they keep breaking. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. Tomorrow I'm stopping by the high school to talk to Mrs. Miller's class. Ah, impressionable theater kids. Be sure to tell them to have a plan B. I'm kidding. Dream crusher. No, I'm sure you're gonna inspire all of them to go chase all their dreams. You've always been really good at helping people believe in themselves. It's amazing how this place never changes. Even the telephone pole is still standing. Um, it's a telephone pole, Becca. I mean, where's it gonna go? Cliff went back into it every Sunday on his way to church. You'd think it'd be flat by now. They actually took his license away a few years ago. Oh, sad. How does he get to church? No, yeah, I mean, we all pitch in, help get him where he needs to go. There's a sign-up sheet before. That's why I love this place. Do you think we can spend some real time together soon? We are spending time together. Sam, I want to really catch up with you, clear things up. Let's just leave the past where it is. Sam, Becca, you know, you're here for a month. Let's just try and enjoy this time. Okay, I'm asking as a friend. Please? Will I see you at the theater tomorrow? Maybe. I hope I do. Thanks for the ride. You're welcome. Sam's not here. I see Becca, and she is in, uh, surrounded by a whole squad of cheerleaders. I wonder if they're planning a group number. <laughs> we can all really dance. Sam, focus. Well, Get a closer look. Sam has to be there. I see Becca and the performers, and, um, yeah. And I guess we just missed Sam. Where could they be? How is this ever going to work when they're never in the same room together? It's only been 10 days. Be patient and calm down. The only time they've seen each other is when we have planned it. I'm beginning to think that we are the only ones that see how and what they really are. Impossible. I mean, you felt the tension the other day, the way they looked at each other. I mean, that is love. Aw. We are not giving up. We're just gonna have to get more aggressive with our tactics and we may need reinforcements. It is the only thing I want for Christmas. I asked for an Instapot. Hmm. Hey, Sam. Yeah? Hey, um, I want to tell you something, and I need you to promise you're not going to make fun of me or tell my mom, Rebecca. Okay. Mary Jo's going to Chapel Hill next year and she makes my palms sweaty. <laughs> it's not funny. Uh, <laughs> well, would it help you at all if you knew she liked you too? Maybe. You're both smart. You both volunteer at the animal shelter. Yeah. Why don't you just ask her if she wants to volunteer at the same time as you and if she says yes, you know she likes you. That's a really good idea. Thanks, Sam. No problem. So a few more ceiling lights? Yeah, but should we get some colored lights to like glam it up a little bit? Yes, perfect. Deal.
Hi. Oh, am I on your way up here? No, not at all. I'm I'm happy you're here. Um, I was thinking maybe the nativity could go center stage. Yeah. You're always so great at thinking about sets and how actors move in them. You'll always be the one who made me fly. In Peter Pan. <clears throat> um, Sam, do you think that... How's Adriana? Um, how did you know about Adriana? I read page six. Uh, um... She broke up with me after I got Monica and I'll be there for you, and she didn't get the lead. That was like six months ago. They didn't report your breakup. Not everything you read is true. Becca! Becca! Becca, can we get a selfie? Um, um I gotta get back to this. Hi. Oh. Okay. What's the matter with you? I'm looking for my Pippin mug. It's my first Broadway show and it makes me feel happy. Is that okay with you? The easy killer. I'm just asking. These are clean. Thank you. Oh. Fudge, did you finish the creamer? No. It's right there above the yogurt. It's been all right, sis. See the beyond I'm fine. Just you say so. Tame the beast within. <sighs> Feel better? Jack, you're friends with Sam. Do you know what I did? You know I'm kind of bad at this stuff. I just know they're kind of dating to me. Kind of? Yeah, I think it's something that just like works out for them. Judy's not really in town that much because of her sales job and Sam doesn't really talk about her much either, so... How serious can it be? Interesting. Charlotte Reese. Is that the new girlfriend? No, she's my manager. I'm not seeing anyone at the moment. Shouldn't you take that call then? I would if I wanted to. All right, I'm just looking out for your career. You know, that isn't less directing community theaters, which we've been working up to. Don't you have somewhere to be? Yes, I do actually. I am going to go volunteer at the admission. Have a great day, sis. Brandon, we are on a top secret mission. To get Sam and Becca together? <gasps> How did you know? Either that or we're robbing a bank. <sighs> How can I help? All right, so I'm gonna get Sam to run an errand that takes them by Tilly's house between 3 and 3.15. And I'm going to ask Becca to decorate the front porch, something that Sam usually does. The lights are usually very organized, but this year, I am going to dangle them up. So you need some help? Uh, practice in a routine because that's a whole lot of twirling. Ha ha.
I take it you learned those moves on Broadway? Look, stay if you're gonna help, otherwise just go. Yeah, you need some help. The reindeer has landed. Repeat, the reindeer has landed. Regroup at Eagle's Nest. Is that the house? Yes, that's the house. 10-4, over and out. Twirl for me. Come on. One more. <laughs> OK, wait, stop. Other way. Pause. You're good. OK. OK. Come here. Oh, boy. <laughs> wait, hold on. Thank you. Yeah, it looks great. <laughs> Why didn't Tilly call me? My brother should be helping me with this. Oh, yeah, he and I normally take care of it. Uh, make a whole afternoon out of it. That sounds fun. <laughs> it is. How's Judy? I haven't seen her around. <laughs> wow, I really wasn't expecting that one. I'm asking as a friend, friend to friend. You all right? You don't really seem like yourself. What do I seem like? Stress. You want to talk about it? OK, so you want me to share, but you won't talk about your stuff. All right, all right, that's fair. Uh, Judy's fine. She's on the road a lot. Uh, right now, she's in Nashville uh, with her parents for the holiday. So you don't see her much? No, about once a month or so. Is it serious? As serious as we both want it to be. Now you. One of those days. I don't know when something's really bothering you, Becca. I remember when the most important decision I had to make was between a ponytail and a braid. Yeah, adulting can be hard. Yeah. I miss talking to you. I miss talking to you, too. Let's change that for the next few weeks until you leave. Yeah? <clears throat> but we can start with an apology. I'm sorry. Is not, no, not you. Um, I'm sorry that I've been avoiding you. I just didn't really know how to handle you suddenly reappearing in my life. Forgive me? I'll forgive you, if and only if you do the happy clappy reindeer dance. Absolutely not. You promised I'd never have to do that after the second grade. Uh, these are extenuating circumstances. You pinky promise. You were the cutest backup reindeer ever. Come on. Fine, I'll get it started for you. <clears throat> <clears throat> Um. <clears throat> no? Reindeer, reindeer, ready to fly, pulling Santa's sleigh up in the sky. Mm. Christmas is here and we can't be late because all the children can't wait. Reindeer, reindeer, up in the sky. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, please stop. Don't make me do it. Now, maybe we can enjoy the holiday together? Yes. Yeah. Uh, first, let's start by stringing up the lights. OK. Just let me help you now.
Um, I might want that. You know, he can eat an entire pizza in one sitting. Yeah, I remember when you came to visit me in the city and you insisted we order three pizzas for the two of us. New York City pizza's the best. Your father liked pizza too. Oh, Mom, I got this. I got it. You sure? Yes. I'm happy we could have dinner like this. I feel like I've barely seen you. School keeping you busy? Or is it maybe a girl? Mary Jo? It's definitely not Mary Jo, or any girl. I think she likes you. Yeah, well, I'm busy. I've got D&D with the guys, and then I'm volunteering at the animal shelter. Mom told me you seem to really enjoy it. I love it. I think I might actually go to school to become a vet. Jack, that's great. Yeah, I get animals better than I do people. Dad loved animals. I remember when I was really little, he would constantly take in strays or be the cats that lived under the porch. I didn't know that. Mom never mentioned that. Yeah, it's probably because it drove her crazy. <laughs> you know, your father would be proud of the both of you. I got it, Mom. Hey, hi. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. I just, um, my mom bought your mom a wreath because they were selling out really fast and she didn't want her to miss out. Thanks. She'll love yeah, it. There you go. Wow. We just got started on dessert. Oh, I, I don't want to intrude. Mom made coconut custard pie. She makes the best coconut custard pie. And a fresh pot of coffee. Well, can't say no to that. Sam, what a nice surprise. Yeah, uh, Mom got you a wreath. Nice one, Lucille. What? Tell her I said thank you. Oh, yeah. I'll grab you a coffee. Thank you. Hey, Jack. You text Mary Jo yet? It's a mom. All right. capture the moment. I'm so glad I interrupted dinner. Oh, 
Nice. Oh, yes. <laughs> Mm. This looks amazing. Mm. So good Thank to you. have you home. Thank you. Thank you, love. Right. <laughs> mm. Time for Christmas. Hey, mister. That's for Sam. <laughs> you know, they should have been here by now. I told them we were getting started at 7.30 with or without them. So, soon. <laughs> Evening, everyone. I got held up at the school helping Miss Wilkinson. I'm sorry. I'm just so glad you're here. No, go, 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 go. Get someone something. Oh, yes. That's it. <laughs> all right. I'm so excited that we're all here together. Me too. I love that outfit. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, eggnog. Thank you. All right. Let's get this Christmas tradition started. Jack, you are on garland duty. Bob, you do such a lovely job with the lights every year. Do your magic. <laughs> Tilly, Becca, and Sam, we are going to sort through these ornaments. All right, let's, we can get started with this box right here. And, oh, you know what? Uh, the pizza's gonna be here soon. I better go get the plates ready. I'll help. Ooh. Those two are like frick and frack. I know. <laughs> I wish we were on garland duty. Yeah, uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll sort through this in no time. Wilkie said they have been working together like happy little elves in Santa's workshop. And the memories are coming back! <laughs> We've got to seal the deal here. Oh, I have just the thing I found it the other day. Leave it to me, Tilly. <laughs> so, so he ran home that day, all the way home from the elementary school with a split in the back of his pants. <laughs> yeah, you had a cute little butt then too, didn't you? Still do. <laughs> I wasn't wearing underwear. <laughs> yeah. the oh. Hey, 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 stop picking on Jack. All right, but uh, <gasps> let's continue to stroll down memory lane. Mom, what are you doing? I was looking for ornaments and I found these. In my old closet. You don't live here anymore, <laughs> so hush. Take a look at that. <gasps> Would you look at there? Look at you too. Oh my God. This was in the second grade when Sam was doing the happy clappy rain. Oh, oh my God. God. Happy clappy no. rain. Oh, I've seen that one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, and look at this one. How old are you here? That was in third grade. So this one's for Halloween. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Aww. How do you. Where. Did you give this to them? What is it? It's a playbill from musical. That was your first starring role. Where did you get this? Sam! Bill, how do you even have it? I give you one when you see the show. You were there? Row G, seat 12. 
You were great. Why didn't you tell me or see me after the show? It doesn't matter. It does matter. After that, you texted me saying you were dating Judy. All this time I thought it was random, but it was after you saw the show? I don't understand. Becca, you were amazing. I mean, I knew you were talented, but I saw you in musical and you were incredible. <laughs> you are a Broadway star. I'm a small town bar owner. We're just on different paths. I came back here to be with you. I gotta go. I'll see you tomorrow. no idea what to say to her when she came back inside the house. It's like we're back at square one. They haven't spoken a word to each other. But like, seriously, Mrs. Sheridan, and how can we make this happen? I ship them so hard. They're totally OTP. Yeah, I'm so sure. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Becca was so sad this morning. Look, we've got to fix this. Miss Wilkinson, do you think you can get the hammer out of Sam's toolbox without them noticing? You've got it. Consider it done. No one would ever suspect Lilo Wilkie. <laughs> what are y'all doing? What are you doing here? Looking for you. Well, you found us. Listen, I have to run. You all need to rehearse. What's actually going on here? Uh, we're just having a, an emergency town meeting. What emergency? I didn't hear anything about The show, the parking, parking for the show. Where will we put the cars? With Becca directing. Uh, the cars will go where they usually go. <laughs> that would work, that could... but we should have a plan B. You can never be too prepared. <laughs> mm. Okay, well, uh, Brandon and the cheerleaders need to come with me, please. We have only two days till showtime. Tilly, you're with me. We have a very busy night ahead of us. Come on. What happened? Is everyone okay? Well, well I just went to adjust this part and it just fell apart. Oh, the base is ruined. Uh, I know, we need a new one quick. Well, I'm sure we've got something here. Uh, no, uh, I've called uh, Pastor Teddy at First Presbyterian and he has one. Uh, you and Becca need to run up and pick it up. I, I can get it. Uh, it's too heavy for one person. Uh, you both need to go or this is ruined, go. Okay, okay Miss Wilkinson, yes ma'am. Go. I think there's some shenanigans going on. Shenanigans? Yeah, I mean, uh, the nativity falling apart and us on this drive together, I don't know. Seems weird. Maybe. We need to talk. There's nothing to talk about. Sam, please don't shut me out. I want to talk about us. There is no us. I'm even to go back to New York. Hey, Pastor Teddy. Well, well, well. If it isn't Sam Sheridan and Becca Winters. Yes, sir. We uh, had a little incident with the nativity. Yeah, well, Miss Wilkerson called. There's the base. I'll go get the tree. Appreciate it. Man, 
man. I hope he hurries up. It's freezing up here. Did you miss me? What? Is that why you came to see my show? Beck, I really I missed you. Every day. Why did you come to my show and not see me? Your life is in New York and mine is here. It's a two-hour flight. Becca, you left for college and hardly ever came home. I lived for your breaks. And then you booked musical and another show and another show and you just plain forgot about me. I never forgot about you. We are different people now. We might be different people, but we have the same feelings. You've not been home for three years. I know. I got caught up in my career, but I missed you, and I know you have feelings for me, too. I tried to move on, and no one compared to you. I never stopped thinking about you. About us. Beck, I don't want to take away your dreams. What good are dreams if you don't have the person you love to share them with? I know I've been gone. I made a mistake. But I want the chance to spend another Christmas with you and see if, if maybe you've thought about me too. Of course I have. Never stop loving you. Christmas, Becca. What are you doing here? Who is this? Charlotte was in the area and she stopped by to drop off a lovely poinsettia. Isn't that thoughtful? You just happen to be in the area of Evergreen, Tennessee? I have clients in Nashville. Oh, um, Sam, this is my manager, Charlotte Reese. Charlotte, this is my... Sam. Hello, Sam. That explains a lot. What? Sam, how do you feel about warm weather? Hey, everybody. Why don't we go and sit in the dining room? I sure hope you guys are starving. I've got enough to feed a neighborhood. Just one minute. Go ahead. I told you after Christmas. Oh my God, did you smell the lasagna? It looks delicious. <clears throat> no exaggeration. I had to tell this one seven times. She couldn't believe she got the starring role. She's always been our star. Um, oh, and I bet you she didn't even tell you about the offers from Hollywood. 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 Everybody, calm down. It's not a big deal. My baby's going to be a movie star. Oh, isn't that fantastic? Hey, yeah. Hey, are you going to get to work with that uh, uh, Steve Gutenberg? I love those Police Academy movies. He's what about Jennifer Lawrence? None of this is happening. There's a TV role she'd be perfect for, and that's just the beginning. I love New York, and I have an offer there too, right? Uh, they're just workshopping that, so not not really. And, and that's why the timing for this move would be perfect. Okay, it's Christmas and I'm with my family. I don't want to talk about my career right now. 
But we do want some of Tilly's pecan pie. I'm gonna head out. It was a long drive up and I'm beat. Uh, you have to stay for Tilly's pecan pie. Sit, oh, sit. Dinner was wonderful, thank you. You've been so welcoming. I'll walk you to the door. Sam, would you grab Charlotte's coat, please? Becca, you have to make a decision. I'll talk to you tomorrow. You're not going anywhere. I've seen this look before. You're about to bail, and I'm not going to let you. You're going to listen to me, OK? OK. I'm not going to LA. I never was. Charlotte gets these ideas in her head, and she thinks she knows what's best for me. She's your manager. That's her job. Charlotte knows what's best for my career. This is your dream. She doesn't know what's in my heart or what I really want. She doesn't know why I came back to Evergreen or what's best for me. Like, I'm not going to be the reason that you miss this amazing opportunity. Are y'all having coffee with your pie? I'm going to get back. Hey. Sorry to interrupt. What are you doing here? I'm about to head back up to the city, but I need a decision. I already gave you my answer. I'm not going to LA. I'm taking the workshop job in New York. <sighs> Becca, really think about this. I have. Oh, Becca, I need you a moment. I'll be right back. You're really gonna let her do this? Becca makes her own decisions. I think she makes them because of you. Because of me? I don't think so. Really? She leaves a thriving Broadway career in the peak of the holiday season to come back to Evergreen, a place where the pinnacle of her career is directing the Christmas show. Now Hollywood is waiting. I came back here to see what's keeping her from jumping at that opportunity. And I found you. We both know Becca's dreams are bigger than this. Sorry about that. I already gave you my answer. I'm not going. But you should. Let me know when you change your mind. I wish you back to work. I was thinking we could order Chinese for dinner. All right. Mexican? Whatever you want. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What happened with Charlotte? What'd she say to you? She said you're giving up your career for me. That's not true. She's right, though. This is huge for you. You can't pass this up. Why is everyone deciding my life for me? I know what I want. You think you know what you want, but in one, three years, I don't want you looking back on it and thinking about what could have been. You can have so much more than just evergreen. I don't want to go to LA. How do you know? Because I just do, and even if I did, why wouldn't you come with me? Becca, I don't fit into your life. I don't believe that. You have a future that's filled with success. You don't want me walking down the red carpet with you. That's not who I am. You should go to Hollywood. See if that's where you want to be. I'm tired of having this conversation, Sam. You're right. 
don't want to be with someone that's so easy to give up on us. Thank you so much for all your help, Becca. It was wonderful to be a part of the Christmas pageant. It brings back memories. My first applause, my first solo. It's how I knew I wanted to be up on stage. We were all rooting for you and Sam. You were? Well, yes, yeah, sometimes people just don't have the sense to get in out of their own way. They'll realize their mistake. You two were made for each other. I thought so too. Well, it's not over yet. Everyone loves a happy ending, especially me. Why are you doing this to my sister? What? Why are you hurting my sister? You love her, right? She loves you, obviously. Jack, this is... You're always telling me that life is only as hard as you make it. Yeah, well, this is different. How? Some things just aren't meant to be, all right? Your sister is a star. I'm just me. Well, you sound like a doofus. This whole <laughs> town loves you, and everyone that meets you does too. You're one of the most kind, and thoughtful people on this entire planet. You're always telling me to be brave and to take risks. You're the one that told me to take a risk and tell Mary Jo that I liked her. Did you? Yes. How'd it go? Really good. But don't change the subject. You're letting fear get in the way of love. Okay, all right, so maybe I am scared. So what if I am? Your sister deserves the world. I don't think I can give that to her. But Becca thinks that you can. You see all of the reasons that make it hard, but what this town sees is two idiots that have been in love forever and just need to be together already. And the whole town does not see that. They do? Duh. That's a lot of people. Yeah, it is. And the crazy part is that the only thing that's standing between you and the person that you've loved forever is yourself. So I pushed her away. Gotta fix this, Sam. I will. Oh, sorry, baby. Put the money in. You have a dollar? Hey, you've reached Becca. Leave a message. Hey, you've reached Becca. Leave a message. Ms. Wilkinson, may I borrow your phone to call Becca? Sam, Becca left. I know, and it's all my fault. She won't even answer my phone calls, but maybe if I call from your phone, she'll actually pick up. Give it a try. I can't believe I messed all this up. You think she'll forgive me? Sam, I knew you were perfect for each other when you worked on Peter Pan. I saw the joy it gave you when you helped Becca fly. That's why you're like peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> You love helping her fly, and you're the one she wants when she lands. I understand that now. Well, you're gonna have to make a big, bold move to get her back. I can do that. Hello? Becca, it's me, Sam. I don't wanna talk to you. It's all my fault, please. Just give me two seconds. No, I... I got scared. 
When you left for Broadway and you didn't come back, and three years is a long time, but it's not long enough for me to get over you. Please, just come back. It's too late, Sam. I'm on my way to the airport. Becca, please. I can do this. I don't know. Maybe you're right. We're on different paths. Please, come back. Let me show you. Let me show you that I can do this. I don't know. I gotta go. Oh, darling, I'm so sorry. But you know what they say. The show must go on, and this one goes on in 15 minutes. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Hope is the Thing with Feathers by Emily Dickinson. Hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings that tune without the words and never stops at all. Those open mics were such a game changer. Yeah, oh. happy I could help. Happy I could help. <laughs> okay, uh, nativity, we will be set. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Big chance, kid. Ladies and gentlefolk, to close out the show this evening, I would like to bring to the stage Sam Sheridan to reprise their one and only performance of Happy Clappy Reindeer Dance. This is for you, Becca. You got this, Sam. Reindeer, reindeer, ready to fly, pulling Santa's sleigh up in the sky. Christmas is here, and we can't be late because all the children can't wait. Reindeer, reindeer, ready to fly, pulling Santa's sleigh up. Thank you. 
came back. Everyone loves a happy ending. What about Hollywood? I took the job in New York. You and theater are my first loves. I love you. I love you too. I love the only gift I need. 